Greetings everyone, this is Alt Lexington, continuing my levelling of my Agent of Yesterday character. It's been a few days since I've played this character, so I just have to re-familiarise myself with him. But if you watched the previous videos, you know he's at the point where he's partway through the Cardassian struggle storyline. <coughs> So, to re-familiarise myself, since I'm showing every aspect of this character, including all the boring stuff, might as well just check his reputation, since he started that. Yep, just run through this little bit of housekeeping just load up the new projects I won't fill them up just yet I'll just load them up In this video we should be playing an episode called Second Wave, if we get round to it. points because um, especially on the hourly ones it usually says zero sometimes it says zero if you've done all the 400 point ones for one that you can do in a day and the dailies are for 5,000 of course but the daily is on the top and the owl is on the bottom. And then check this to see if there's a leveling up tier. I don't collect any of the gear from these reputations until they're all at level 5, at tier 5. Then I'll start determining what gear I want. It is quite the grind. I just want to check my sound settings because it seems a little quiet in game right now. I just see ambient volume was a bit lower than it should be. Oh no, that's music volume. I didn't want the music on today. Even though it's good. <coughs> I'm still messing with my sound settings on my recording software, so I don't know if it's too loud or too quiet until afterwards. Okay, that's all the projects loaded up. Now if I look over here, hidden camera, that's on New Romulus. Well, I don't want to further the New Romulus. I don't want to visit New Romulus until my character is playing those episodes. I don't want to go to New Romulus early. 
and the new Romulus episodes are way down the line. And um, since I'm halfway through Cardassian struggle, I don't want to go to New Romulus and level up and start doing those episodes just because I leveled up a tier. So I'll leave that for now. And unexpected friend meet with Commander Cole. Go to the Jalison Joint Command. I don't want to do them until we get to the Solan Dyson Spear. Solanate. So the next one would be just to play the episode is the next mission queued up. But for now, let's see if we've got any marks to donate. Nope, nothing from competitive because that came out after Agents of Yesterday. And see how much cash we've got. Oh, we've got some dilithium to refine, of course. We've got enough energy credits to keep this going for now. We're going to run out of marks before long. And then I'll save the rest of the reputation tiering until I finish playing the episodes, then I can grind up marks after I've run out. Sometimes they take a while to load the reward. But while that's waiting, we'll just go on to the next one. Probably going to run out of marks pretty soon now. I left up a hold on tearing up the reputation until I finish the episodes. Because I don't want to be playing Borg Red Alert or Cued stuff until after I've finished all the episodes. And besides, it's boring to keep playing the Red Alerts over and over again just to rapidly tear up a reputation. But it's the quickest way because the queues don't move very often. because that came out after Agents of Yesterday. And obviously we can't do Dyson because for some reason maybe I've already done as many Dysons as I can in an hour but I don't see how since I haven't played this character for a few days or maybe it's about to tear up with the next one of these completes so there's no hourly available. Okay, that's that done now for just check my skills to see if I've got any more specialization points. Yes, I've got three of them. Should I start strategist or should I just continue with intelligence? I 
developing our continuum intelligence. I'll do the space ones first. Well, actually, we better put some ground ones on just in case because we're going to do them all eventually. Now, do we have any traits available? Not yet. Of course, not yet. We've got our severity. Armor penetration, energy weapon damage and melee damage, and from the base, that's ground. We haven't got any space yet, which is odd since we've got ground ones. We think I would have thought you'd get them both at the same time. I remember you used to be able to. Um, Choose whether you wanted the space one or the ground one as you teared up. Not anymore, obviously. Okay, then it's now officer assignments. Well, we'll start with R and D. <coughs> Novice armorer. Now I wonder, should I continue with these? since they're all at level 5, or should I get these three to level 5 as well first? Well, it says raise school, any school to level 15 to open up this slot, so I think I might continue with projectiles since it's at level 10, that'll get to level 15 the quickest to open that slot up. Now one more slot. I think I'm going to start these with that spare slot just to see if I can get them to level to tier 5. So that's all I think I can do. Admiral T. We started the Federation ones. Congratulations, Admiral. Why, thank you, Mr. Spock. Congratulations, Admiral. And again. Congratulations, Admiral. And again. We're being hailed by Admiral Quinn. Congratulations, Admiral. You have conquered yet another milestone on your journey through Starfleet. You still have challenges ahead of you, but I am confident that you will be able to do anything you set out to do. Good luck. Why, thank you, Admiral. Uh, did I just reach level 60? the highest level way before finishing any of the episodes I think I did well I'll be damned I just hit level 60 let's have a look There's nothing to say so here. You received a new title. There's nothing here to say that I reached level 60, but my agent of yesterday has finally reached the highest level. You never know. I'll probably reach the highest level, and then in a month's time when season 14 comes out, they'll probably raise it to level 70. <laughs> Anyway, that's good. So now I can... Let's do a Romulus one, because that hasn't reached level one yet. So, that one. 10, 10, 20. Well, that ship seems like a bit of overkill. Could do two small ships.
No, that was wrong. I suppose that would help. Doesn't really matter. Might as well do a few more Romulan ones while I'm here. Just to make sure I get Romulan to level one. Although the, this isn't about leveling, this is about getting the rewards, but I like to get it all to level 10 and then just leave them. Because I don't need the rewards, very rarely need the rewards. Might do on this character actually since he's free to play. 45 science, that's a lot for a low level character. Never be able to get that one done. This one gives energy credits, that's good. And my character's a tactical officer, so. High attack is okay. There we go. And now, duty officer assignments, there's none available. That's because I've completed 20. Can't collect the rewards because my inventory is full, as usual. Got more dilithium. So I'll just get rid of um, these cons collectibles. I won't get rid of that blue one. Because I'm not going to be needing these as much now that I'm getting the reputation gear. I'm not going to be needing these loot drops as much, so I might as well just recycle some of them. <laughs> just to make space in my inventory. I'll keep the blue ones just in case. Could be a mistake getting rid of some of this stuff so soon. Unlock some more of these. Okay. Now let's see if we can finish some more of those assignments off. We turned in a changeling. Now we can delete these two things because they're pretty useless. I keep thinking like I'm on my main character or my other more leveled up characters. I think I'm going to have to visit the bank before I play this episode. I know I haven't got any space in the bank but I just need to check it just to get an idea of where my character is at at the moment. So approach it. So instead of beginning second wave, I'll just approach Deep Space Nine. <laughs> just so I can visit the bank quickly. Just remind myself of what kind of build I'm using. Oh, it's a full cannon build, and I think I got rid of the green cannon just now green quality cannon but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a better cannon 
Now that I'm at level 60, it might be time to start purchasing some gear off the exchange for this character. He's still going to remain free to play for a while, hopefully until I've finished all the episodes. Alright, let's go to the bank, which is this way. When you beam in, the bank is always just behind you. That saves you having to run all the way around Deep Space Nine to find it. The bank's behind you, the shipyard's ahead of you. Okay, so obviously we've got no space in the bank, but there are some things I might want to start getting rid of, but I don't know, I've got plenty of um, reputation weapons now, so I don't need half of these ground weapons that I was saving. So I can finally discard them. For energy credits. I'm going to keep these two old ones. No, I'll keep the melee weapons as well, because I don't think you get them from reputation. Did I just delete the right one or the wrong one? Let's have a look. Oh no, I didn't delete the wrong one. I just want to make sure that I'm not deleting anything I enjoy playing. But it is time to delete some of this junk I've been saving. Do I really want to delete the phaser cannons? Well. It's time to make some hard decisions about what to keep and what to delete, so yeah, I will get rid of them. I mean, all these torps are going to be useless considering I've got a torps like that now. Promotional specialization point bundle, that means I can use that now. I think it came from Agent of Yesterday. For creating an Agent of Yesterday character. No, I'm not going to use it just yet because I'm not sure whether it came from an agent of yesterday character or whether it was an account unlock like the Admiralty ship and the holographic crew. I shouldn't have really collected these on this free to play character, I don't think. Because they come from an account unlock from characters that are paid for. I like to tend to put stackables into my bank so that I can have access to the single things in my inventory. Or things I may not use. It's not about deleting things at the moment, it's more about just making space. I believe that's enough space in my inventory to play an episode. I can get rid of that.
There's a lot of things I don't need, but I'm hesitant to get rid of them at such an early point in this character's development, even though he's level 60. <laughs> and that's still considered an early point. And they tell people there's no end game. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm okay to start the episode, though. What do I get for level 60? A new trait slot. Oh, so I do. And a ground and space trait, so for ground... What shall I put on him? He's already got pistol training and strike team specialist. Is he using a pistol by now? No, he's using a sniper rifle. So I should really change that trait for rifle. Rifle training. And for his extra trait, his new trait, Well, he hasn't got much to choose from, so covert, maybe kit performance, mental discipline, peak health. I think peak health for now because I haven't got any damage ones except kit performance, but. Does Freddy kit performance? That might be better actually, although I, that's more of an engineering thing for kits. And this gives bonus hit points, which is probably what I'm going to need as I'm leveling up. And for my space reputation, I could go with accurate or astro. Physicist, elusive for increased defense. Fleet coordinator, but that's for team matches. <coughs> I don't want to increase my threat, but there's some resists there. But they're not total coverage resists. Or warp core potential, what does that do? Plus 10 stashy warp core potential, Ooh. improves power tra power levels, improves power transfer rate. Well, unless my rate will get up another 5%, it's not worth using it, because only 5% power can be transferred at a time, I believe. So it's either 10%, 15%, or 20%. So I'll have to beam into space to see the stats to check that which trait I want to add for my space traits, personal space traits. And that means flying away from the crowd so I can get accurate numbers without any of their team boosts buffing me. Okay, that's far enough away from now. And we look at our stats at the moment, even though the mastery is not complete. Give it a moment to settle. Your power transfer rate is 10 per second. I wonder if adding warp core potential plus 10 starship plasma flow system improves plasma transfer. I wonder what that wonder what that make it go from 10 to 15, but I doubt it. No, 0.5 it's not worth having. Because the the power transfers into these subsystems at five 
in point chunks of five, I believe. So it, it won't get any more power until it goes down to below 120, then it can add five points of power transferred in. I believe it's something like that, I'm not sure. But that might not be a good one to have. Accurate will add 10% accuracy, that would be good. What about this one? Improves exotic damage, improves drains and resistance to the same, improves detection of cloaked ships. Well, drain is good. This one elusive increases depends, which is one I'm probably going to go with. Makes it harder for me to be hit. Improves whole restoration and regen. Improves whole healing, improves passive regeneration. Passive is what you really want, because that means you don't hit it will do it without having to hit a button. Maximum hit points, 10%, that's a lot. Shield hit points, 10%. There's shield hit points or whole hit points or maximum overall hit points. That's hull. I think just increasing defense should be enough. But it's going to have to be because I don't want to spend too much time messing with settings. I still don't have any better weapons. Well, I do. I have the reputation weapons, but I'm, I don't know. But I'd have to make a rainbow boat with reputation weapons. Because I don't have enough of any one energy type, which means replacing these with lesser consoles for lesser damage. And I don't want to have to do that. At this level, it seems the talk bow would be very effective. No, I don't have any better cannons that are worth putting on. I mean, I've got these. But nothing to buff them. No consoles to buff them with. So I think I'll stick with what I've got for now. Although that photon mine doesn't seem to be doing much, but it's just enjoyable to use. Tractor mine might be better. Because that I remember that from Korea system when the Romulans use it, it's bloody annoying. <laughs> It might be worth putting it on instead of photon mines. But mines are just so slow. Nah, we'll leave things as they are for now. So let's warp out the solar system out of Deep Space Nine. And I'm 34 minutes in, still haven't started the episode. I think I've got my mic volume a little too high. But I won't know until the end. So let's begin second wave, shall we? Okay.
Welcome to Deep Space Nine. I know you're here for the conference, but Commander Andrews would like to see you in OBS as soon as you have time. Enjoy your stay, sir. So it's heading to OBS, and I came in through the cargo bay. Or docking bay. I didn't beam in. Attend Bourne Conference talk to Commander Andrews in operation, so turbo lift to operations. Commander Andrews, where are you? Are you Commander Andrews? Yes, you are. Hello, Commander Andrews. Welcome to DS9. I'm Commander Karen Andrews, Captain Carlin's first officer. He asked me to inform you that he's been delayed dealing with an incident in Cargo Bay 3. No, oh, she's Scottish. You're not going to speak the rest of your lines? Well, are they paying you by the word? Unfortunately, we won't be able to begin the conference until Captain Curland is available. I wonder, would you be willing to track down the other attendees and inform them of the delay? I can send a junior officer, but I thought this way you'd get a chance to meet the delegates before formal talks begin. Every little bit of connection or information helps in a diplomatic situation. Okay. If you want me to do the lackey's work, I will. So, speak with conference attendees. Talk to Satas in the multi-purpose room. I think that's the bank room. Talk to Unjan Sky in the replimat. Talk to Ambassador Sura in Hawks. Okay, and no problem. No problem, my lassie. It's no problem, my lassie. That's my bad Scottish. Right, let's talk to Satas. Talk to Captain Sean in the shipyard. I haven't spoken to him, so why is there a tick by his name? Maybe I don't have to because we're Federation. And we can talk to him any time. So talk to Satas in the multi-purpose room which I believe is the bank since Captain Sean's in the shipyard what weapon do I have on this character oh yes I've got a good weapon on there oh 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 I'll get me fix get me fix Ah, Starfleet officers love to scan. That's what they need. There we go. That was some good scanning, that was. So Tass, a big Gorn Klingon representative. Ah, I was Did he just fart? You will be here. Have you come with another friendly reminder from Commander Andrews? Feel free to report back to her and let her know that I haven't eaten the furniture or scared away the Dabo players. Not yet, anyway. I like that. He starts his conversation with, ah, as if he just had a big far because he doesn't want my presence so he put out a stink to get rid of me <laughs> commander andrews wanted you to know that the start of the conference has been delayed that is troubling my ship is waiting to return to chronos as soon as these talks are completed i have no wish to linger here any longer than is necessary. Good for you. We don't want you here as much either. You stink. You keep farting at Federation officers to get rid of them. Now, talk to Runjan Sky, Skyle in the Replimat. I always mispronounce these names and I don't really care. I make up my own names when I can't pronounce something.
Hello, you cardy scum. I'm looking forward to the conference and what your government has to say about the Borg. While I agree the Borg are indeed a threat, I'm not entirely clear as to what you expect the Ditapa Council to do about it. Send your ships out as cannon fodder, what else? So we don't have to. If you will remember, we dismantled our military after the Dominion War and only maintain a small force for planetary defense. Those ships you may have seen were stolen from my government by the true way. Regrettably, Starfleet has yet to put a stop to their campaign of terror. Campaign of terror? Captain Kirland has been unavoidably detained. We will delay the start of the conference until he is ready. In other words, everybody, hang on while the Federation pull their finger out. Being here on Deep Space Nine reminds me of my mentor, Gul Mavek, who was stationed here during the Dominion occupation. During his time here, he came across a peculiar drink, Bajoran Distilled Canar. Apparently, during the Cardassian occupation, the soldiers wanted their favorite libation, but there was not enough Canar in the shipments from home. So these resourceful young officers conscripted a group of Bajorans, mostly from the religious houses, to distill Kanar for them. Yes, they did. And that's what happened to the resistance resistance's victims. <laughs> yep, the resistance murdered Cardassians that got in their way. Um and then sent them bodies for the religious order to get rid of and the religious order made them into drinks <laughs> so the Cardassians are drinking their own soldiers <laughs> well that's my idea the canar from do. Bajor has a different color and flavor from the best Cardassian vintages because of the local ingredients used in its distillation nevertheless many of the officers who drank it developed quite a taste for this Bajoran pleasure. It is impossible to find a similar vintage on Cardassia Prime, and I want to present a bottle to my mentor and friend, Gul Mavek, upon my return to the homeworld. It would mean so much to him, and I would be most grateful to anyone who could assist me in this small task. Well, since I have invented that the Joran Canar is made of Cardassian soldiers. <laughs> it obviously has the taste of fascist dictator, and that's what Cardassians like about it. <laughs> they like a good taste of a fascist dictator. I'll see if I can find any more. Do I look like a bartender to you? I think I'll help him. When did Skull, the Cardassian representative to the Borg Talks at DS9, wants a bottle of Bajoran distilled canard? The vintage is rare and not normally available in stores. You may need to speak to multiple people on Deep Space Nine to find it. Oh, a word. <laughs> Dealing with these bloody diplomats, it's a annoying thing. Home away from home, homesick. Home away from home. Now let's talk to Ambassador Sura. In Quark's bar. Plus, we've got this optional assignment. So, Quark's bar would be this. Which way would Quark's bar be? This way, I believe. I think I'm going the wrong way, but still. Oh no, here we are. Quark's bar! I want to talk to Morn. Hi, Morn. Cool, that was wise. That's brilliant. Morn! Morn, I could really use your advice. Morn looks at you for a long moment and then returns his attention to his drink. Really? I never thought about it that way. I'm glad to know that someone agrees with me. Try the other one. 
just to get more, just in case there's an accolade. Got any good gossip? Morn rattles the ice in his drink. In other words, he wants to <laughs> me to buy him a drink. Want to play a few rounds of Dabo? Obviously not. He's skint. <laughs> Where have you been all this time? Here we go. <coughs> Morn looks off into the distance, wondering where to begin. He swirls his drink as he prepares his amazing tale. Hours later. Morn picks up his drink, throw incredibly dry. He gives you a knowing nod and returns his attention to the bar. <laughs> wow, that was good. Hey, look at that. I am Groot. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Now, if that bartender has a name, he might be the one that can provide the canard. Oh no, he sells gold press latinum things that you. get from playing Dabo. Let's have a chat to Ambassador Sora. Greetings, my name is Sora, and I speak for the Deferi. Until recently, my people <laughs> isolated ourselves from the rest of the galaxy in an attempt to remain neutral. We seek balance in all things. And therefore, choose not to take sides in conflicts that do not concern us. <coughs> the Borg, however, threaten everyone. My own world has been scarred by the Collective. I look forward to hearing your thoughts about how we can deal with the Borg when the conference convenes. A choice of two responses. Captain Cullen has a situation he must deal with immediately. I'm sorry to tell you that the start of the conference has been delayed by not only his situation, but I just wanted to chat with Morn for a while so you can all bloody wait. <laughs> In your recent travels, have you found any Bajoran distilled Kanar? While I recently completed a diplomatic mission to Cardassia Prime, I must admit I never developed a taste for Kanar and so didn't feel the need to take a bottle with me. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll look elsewhere. Asshole. Let's talk to the bartender. Maybe your friend you can get older son. Need something, friend? Do you carry Bajoran distilled Kanar? A wise man can hear profit in the wind. Kanar? Awful foul smelling stuff and the profit margins are terrible. Elam Garrick was the last person on the station who liked the stuff and he left decades ago. After that we stopped keeping it in stock. Those ridiculous spiral bottles take up too much space. Thanks for the information, I'll look elsewhere. There's usually people to talk to about Kanar around here. So with this person. <coughs> Let's have a look upstairs just for the hell of it. Who are you waving at? Look at her store. She's got canard, but not during distilled canard. This is the seedier part of Quark's bar, even though Quark's no longer here. Well, actually, he might be, just not his shift. 
uh, Cork's become a businessman. He's expanded since his brother became Grand Nagus. He now runs a fleet of Davo tables all over the Alliance and everywhere else. And up to level three. Up to the top level, I should say. Where are the holodecks? Talk to Gargon. Store. No, no canard there. Well, I don't have any in my inventory. I'm in my bank or inventory. I know that much. Just having a look around. Enjoy the set. One of these tables might be um, Chief O'Brien's and Keiko. But there's no access, there's no second level access anymore like there used to be on the show. And I don't see the holodecks anywhere. Or hollow sweets, as they're called, in Deep Space Nine. So there's no one in there that can give me Kanar. Talk to Ambassador Sora Corks, I just did. Well, let's go back in and try again. Maybe I hit talk to him incorrectly. Greetings. My name is Sir. I understand. I must find something to do with my free time. I had been hoping to spend some time in one of the hollow suites here. Several people have recommended them, and there is an historical hollow program, the Matara Nebula, that I have been eager to play. Could you help me gain access to a hollow suite? An hour or two would be more than sufficient. Let me see what I can do. There should be a way to get a reservation for you. I have other duties. I only wanted to deliver the message about them. There we go. Ambassador Sora of the Defree would like to visit Hollow Suite while he is visiting Deep Space Nine. Hollow Suite reservations are available from Hadron in Quarks. So now we've got two optionals. I wonder why that didn't work before. Maybe I had the wrong replies. Need something, friend? I need to reserve a whole suite for the Deferi ambassador. Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. I can't do it. The whole suites are booked solid for the week. If you hadn't noticed, this place is busy, and in all of the ambassadors, diplomats, admirals, and such here up for the Borg thing, and I almost have more business than I can handle. Hey, maybe it's time to expand. That old tailor shop has been empty for years. The only way you're going to get a reservation for today is if you travel back in time and make one three months ago. I don't advise that, though. Doesn't the Federation have some sort of temporal prime directive? What if I had some, someone willing to give up their reservation? A Ferengi without profit is no Ferengi at all! I guess that would work, but I don't want any violence and don't cause trouble. I run a respectable establishment here and I don't need any problems with Kurland or my customers. So I've got to find somebody who gives who's willing to give up their hollow suite reservation. Hick, did you know this place sells a real deal? You get super hot if you want, but this stuff is great! <laughs> hey, you're just my type. Doing anything later? Excuse me, but I'm taken. I think it's Selmac that took me <laughs> in that cave on the Coliseum planet. <laughs> Do you have a reservation in the Hollow Suites for today? Aggressive, aren't you? That's good. I like that. And I do have a hollow suite reserved. I had already chosen the program, but I'm sure we can change it to something that's more 
fun for two. Would you like to get a drink or dinner beforehand, or should I just meet you there? I'd like to acquire your hollow sweet reservation, but I don't want to share. Oh, that's a shame. I thought we really had something. The reservation isn't for sale, however, if you change your mind, I might consider letting you join me. Then again, maybe not. You Starfleet types aren't much fun. <laughs> you were rejected! My reading isn't very good today. Go away! I don't want any company, especially yours. Do you have a horror suite reservation for today? Who wants to know? I need a reservation instead of selling yours. Interested in selling yours? Hmm. No! Why are you still here? Go away! Fine! Oh look, two Remans. What about this guy? Bar patron. Hey there, may I interest you in some self-sealing stem bolts? Do you have a reservation in the Hollow Suite? I do. I'm going to use the Hollow Suite to help demonstrate all the wonders of quality self-sealing stem bolts to a very important potential customer. Between you and me, those things are harder to move than you might think. I need your Hollow Suite reservation. Interested in making a deal? I need to sell my entire inventory or my profits this month will be way off projections. That's why I reserved the Hollow Suites. I need to make a great impression on this new customer. But if you bought all of my stem bowls, then I could cancel my meeting and catch the next shuttle out of here. Do we have a deal? I don't need that many stem bowls, but I might be able to arrange a buyer for you. Deal? I'm sure. I'll be here until my meeting starts. If you find a buyer for my self-sealing stem bolts before then, I'll give you my hollow suite reservation. Who's Zar? Does this guy become Zar now yet? Did you find him? Not yet, but I'm still looking. So, we've got to find a buyer for the stem bolts. I think Captain Kurland is the only one we have visited, so he might Captain be interested. Captain is wrapping up the problem in the cargo bay, and we will be able to begin the talks very soon. I've notified the other attendees, but our opening speaker isn't responding to hails. Could you please track him down for me? Admiral Zavglach Trem mentioned wanting someplace quiet. You might try the upper promenade or the temple. Continue. Okay, um, find the conference speaker. He'll be in the temple if I remember from previous plays of this episode a long time ago. But I need to find someone to buy stem bolts. Let's talk to this guy. Talk to Pryla. May the prophets bless you. Do you know any Bajorans involved in distilling canard during the occupation? We await the word of the emissary. Many among the Bajoran religious caste were forced to distill canard during the Cardassian occupation. This very, the very appearance of Bajoran distilled canard brings up memories of a dark time. While we will never forget, we do not revere artifacts of the occupation. Most of what you ask, you seek, was destroyed long ago. I'm afraid. I would not know where to find one today, nor would I feel inclined to do so. Continue. That someone would take pleasure in something so terrible, I will pray for them and for you. I am sorry if I have offended you very well. I will find you elsewhere. Who's this guy? How can I help you? Do you have any interest in a bulk? purchase of self-seeding stem bolts. I don't even know what self-seeding stem bolt is. Are they used in agriculture? I'm not going to talk to those merchants, just the ones with the 
exclamation point above their heads. Here, that's the Cardassian who wants the crap. Just looking around to see if there's anyone else to talk to about him. Hang on, this is Broker Yarasin. Greetings, Admiral. The Federation Aid and Outreach Program seeks to establish positive relations with many of the systems located in the star clusters from our explored and unexplored space. Oh no, I don't want to do any of those missions, so exit. He's a mission giver. For silly ass little missions that nobody ever plays. Now that's the shipyard. The shipyard is the one with the steps in front of it. So let's go in there, because Kurland is probably in here. Who's this? Shuttle information, no thank you. Ah, there's Kurland. Oh, before we talk to him, there's a scannable. I'm going to stop here, for, for, I'm going to go AFK for two minutes, so instead of stopping the video and having to make another part to the story, I'm just going to go AFK for two minutes while I take a quick natural break, just two minutes, back in any in a couple of seconds, so we having to make another video. Sorry about that. Just needed to take a quick refreshing moment. I didn't want to pause. I can't pause the recording. I have to stop the recording and then start another one to continue. I didn't want to have to do that. So I thought it would just be easier just to pop AFK for a few moments. Anyway, let's talk to Kurland. Sean. Sounds like um, Jafar language, his name. From Stargate, the Jafar. What is it? Um, Kalchet Ben Ron. <laughs> Master Ray Tech. You kept your head in that tricky situation in the Iconia system. Good to have people like you on our side. Iconia system? I haven't been there. I don't think I've the Cardassian story out yet. The Arconian story out yet. No, I haven't. That's a long way off. Ah, maybe he's referring to the Romulan mystery because there was some Arconian stuff going on there. And there was something in um, 
Klingon War as well. To do with um, the Romulan mysteries. To do with the Romulans. And I'm glad there's someone else here who's faced the Borg in battle. We have a perspective the rest of these full-time diplomats don't. Yes, I did face the Borg right in the beginning in the early tutorial, I believe, if I remember. But, or did Agent of Yesterday skip over that part? I think he did, actually. Let's have a look again at these early episodes. Come on, War. We skipped most of these, didn't we? Or did we do them? No, we didn't skip them. So I think there was something to do with the Borg back here, wasn't there? I don't remember. So I don't know if I faced the Borg or done the Iconian, so maybe he's mistaken me for someone else. Or maybe time travel. Do you still need help on your ship or? Do you need a large quantity of self-sealing stem bolts? Wanna get screwed? How many do you have? My chief engineer has been looking for stem bolts for weeks. He wants to do some upgrades to the Belfast, and the Defiant class has always been a little touchy. Sometimes it's best to use what works, even if the technology's a little out of date. How dare you insult the Defiant class? I've got a Defiant class. Mine's better than yours. No wonder you need stem bolts and updates. Your engineer must not be very good. We've made inquiries with several traders, but everyone we talked to dumped their inventories after the speculation bubble burst. Some Ferengi out there made a small fortune a few months ago cornering the stem bolt market, but now that supply is gone. I was hoping to find some here, but so far I have no chance. If you know of a source, my crew could make the upgrades we need without having to find an industrial replicator. I do know of a source. Okay, I'll go back to that guy in the bar and tell him I found somebody who wants to buy his crap. Yep. I found a buyer for the um, self sealing stem bolts. But nobody ever wants to talk about reverse ratcheting rootars. Nobody but Julian Bashir. Oh, it looks like I'm running around the sun to meet the moon to find this Bajoran, this um, corks bar again. Did you find a buyer for my stem bolts? Yes, a ship captain wants to acquire your entire stock. That's fantastic news. I have the stem bolts sent I I have the stem bolts sent to his ship immediately. If I catch the next shuttle, I'll be home in time for my daughter's birthday. If you tell Hadron that my hollow suite reservation is yours. Thanks again. Woohoo! That's an option all done. Almost. Need something, friend? Zara is willing to give me a holo suite reservation. A wise man can hear profit in the wind. Great, now we just need to take care of the reservation transfer fee. What reservation transfer fee? Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. There is a minor fee associated with transferring a holo suite reservation. It's nothing really. Just enough to cover administrative costs. Let's see. That'll be 10,000 gold press latinum, please. Payable immediately. What? That's outrageous! The riskier the road, the greater the profit! Look, I'll cut you a deal, but don't tell anyone. I don't need word of this getting around. I'll take 2,000 gold press platinum. I'm losing money, but I will do it for you. Why don't we even have to tell him? Why don't I? 
I just turn up at the horror suite with the guy's reservation. Are you insane? A Ferengi without profit? It's no Ferengi at all! Fine, 100 gold press land, but that's my fine offer. But I don't have 100 gold press land. Need something, friend? There's a tower table behind you, isn't there? Start playing. With what? <laughs> Hello, Lita. I want to play Dabo. Spin the wheel and win. I wonder should we go through all this tutorial? I don't think we need to. Place your bet and keep your eye on the wheel. I'll you just start by setting the amount of your bet in energy credits or gold press latinum. Then select the slot you want to bet on. You can bet on up to three slots at a time and bet up to a hundred energy credits or gold press latinum per slot. Click the place bets button when you're satisfied with your bets and that's it. If you win, you'll be paid for the results of each slot and that can add up fast. Ah, they've had Lita voice all the tutorial on that. It means I can go through it without having to read it all. Spin the wheel and win. There are Dabo tables at Drozana Station and Quark's Bar, Grill, Gaming House, Embassy and Holosuite Arcade on Deep Space Nine. Also at Nimbus. And on my Ferengi ships. Spin the wheel and win. Tell me more about the Dabo wheel. Our wheels are made on Ferenginar and fully certified by the Ferengi Gaming Commission, so you know your bet is safe and the table is fair. Bet safely and bet often. Spin the wheel and win! Tell me more about the icons on the Dabber wheel. Each icon on the wheel has three values, color, number, and shape. The colors are red, green, and blue. There is no color on the inner ring. The numbers are 1, 2, and 3, and the shapes are squares, circles, and triangles. The more matches you make, the more you win. See? <laughs> this is easy. That's why so many people love to play Dabo. There's also a Dabo table on riser, I believe. Spin the wheel and win! Are there any special icons on the wheel that I need to know about? Yes. The swirls are wild, which means that they count as any color, shape, or number. Wild icons count for Dabos, and a Dabo made up of all wild icons is the second highest payout in the game. The yellow shapes are quarks. You'll get extra high payouts with quarks, and a quark Dabo is the biggest win you can get. The gray shapes are DS9s. They have a high payout, too, and a DS9 Dabo will fill your pockets with latinum. Black holes are purple. They're null spots. Too many of them and you won't win at all. Spin the wheel and win! What can I win? All bets are paid out in gold <coughs> pressed latinum. There's a full listing of the payout schedule on the info button. There are vendors on Drazana Station and DS9 that have special items that can only be purchased with latinum. Oh, and remember, if you don't play, you can't win. Spin the wheel and win! What is Dabo? <laughs> she just told me. Dabo! <laughs> if you match all the colors, numbers, and shapes in a single slot, you win a Dabo. That's when all the latinum will start adding up. You'll be able to buy your own moon in no time. Spin yeah, right. the wheel and win! Can I play with my friends? Of course you can. Everyone bets on the same wheel. Your bets are represented by red lights, and the other players have yellow lights. You can hover your cursor over those lights to see who's playing and how much they're betting. The highest winner is reported each round to the entire table, and if you click the last five games button, you can see your history of play. Spin the wheel and win! Tell me about Dabo Wibblita. Dabo with Lita is a fully licensed product of Quark Enterprises. All right, we serve. Dabo isn't, but Dabo with Lita is. <laughs> That's a fine difference. Spin the wheel and win. Can we have Dabo with Borg? <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Lita. Sure thing. 
I'm Lita, the First Lady of the Ferengi Alliance, but I used to live on Deep Space Nine and run these tables. After the Dominion War ended, I left DS9 with Rom to live on Ferenginar. He's Grand Nagus, you know, and I'm so proud of him. But my old boss Quark was losing profit, so he talked me into posing for this hologram. I'm still not sure it was a good idea, but Quark is family. I had to help him out. And if the players are happy with a hologram, well, <laughs> who am I to judge? Spin the wheel and win. I'm very happy with the hologram. <laughs> really happy, especially in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we actually play Dabo now, and I understand there's a lot of um, accolades you can get from playing Dabo. So, Spin the wheel and let's go for it. We might play more than is needed just to get the accolades. Now, since I don't have any gold press for platinum, I don't believe. 24, not enough. So I'll start with placing beds using energy credits. It shouldn't take too much to get some accolades, but you can only place a bit when it's time. So go maximum amount of bet, 100. I usually bet on zero slot and one either side, so zero, one, and 35, place bet. The default slot and one either side. Two hundred, two hundred, one hundred and fifty. That's enough to buy the hollow suite at least. But I'm going to continue because there might be some accolades to get. And I think I'm the only one here playing. Last five games. Yeah, I'm the only one here playing. So that's a bit of chance of getting Dabo, I think, since there's no one playing against. Twenty twenty twenty. I can waste a bit of um, energy credits on this. It's only three hundred a game, and I've got three million, I think. So I can afford to keep going until I get some accolades. This might take a while. At least I can build up some gold press latinum. As you can see, it's increasing. And I would like to get a nice collection of latinum. I mean, of course, it's a rip off. It's gambling a, a Ferengi game, so it's a rip Of course, it's supposed to be. See? Accolade. Dabo Dabbler. I'd like to get about 25,000, I think. This could be your day. Yeah, with these videos, I'm showing everything that this character does. Every aspect of his life is caught on video. And as a result, I'm playing every aspect of the game that I can as well, but trying to do it in some sort of order by playing the episodes first and anything of opportunity that comes up that's in relation to playing the episodes. So, do you come here often? so there are some slow bits to these videos. Some uninteresting bits, but as long as I have everything caught on video, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I would like to get a Dabo. I think I saw someone get a Dabo once that was over a million gold press latinum. And I didn't know the game could do that. I think it might have been a glitch. I think the maximum is 10,000, isn't it? <coughs> Better stretch this up to see if I'm not wasting too much of this, but it's only 300 at a time. Hundred for each bit. 
Well, it is just converting the energy credits into gold press latinum, but you should probably do it the GPL conversion unit. But this is a nicer, funner way, even if it is more of a rip-off. But it's in fitting with the game for this to be a rip-off. It's supposed to be. It should be. If you keep just placing bets on the same ones, eventually you'll build up a bunch of acolytes. You'll just keep placing bets on the same ones over and over again. Nothing that time. It'll only take you a couple of hundred thousand to get all the acolytes, I believe. Hundred thousand energy credits to get all the energy you can get, I believe. <coughs> the accolades don't do anything, I don't believe, except maybe give titles. I don't know. Give titles for your character to wear. Not that I can see my own title. Perseverance for to get them. If I don't get anything by the time I get down to three million, then I'll stop there if I haven't got enough accolades by then. I wish I could open up several of these windows all the way across the screen and just <laughs> play them all simultaneously. <laughs> multi demo it should be called. <laughs> Doing this during an episode play might be the worst thing possible. I wonder if all these demo tables throughout the game are linked, so when you look at last five games run you might see all the different people throughout the game who's playing. There should be a separate demo window as a chat window as well. for Dabo players only and you can only use that window when you actually got the Dabo window open. You can only use that chat channel when you got the Dabo window open. A separate chat for Dabo only. For any so that everybody in Star Trek Online is playing the same game of Dabo. Regardless of which table they're standing at. Sort of a network of Dabo with its own chat channel that can only be accessed when playing. That would be a good idea. I've got to get a dabbo at some point. I think you get accolades when you get 10,000 and 15,000 and 25,000. Gotta get a dabbo at least once, surely. Don't want us to give it too long, or the video will go on forever. Deep into the eyes of Lita. Hey, I hear you all with a Ferengi. You can do better than that. <laughs> What's that? You got a cough? <laughs> Would you like to go to Riser and sort it out? <laughs> I 
I'll give you a viv vigorous chest massage to get rid of it. I tell you, the Lita Mirror Universe holographic Lita that you get as an account reward for a promotion, she's a pretty good bridge officer for ground combat because she's got, she can create a hologram of herself so that it appears to be two of her on the battlefield. I was trying to run new Romulus last night. And my main character. Today must be your lucky day. <laughs> Admiral Lita. So, does Lady Lita, First Lady of the Frankie Alliance, outrank Admiral Lita of the Mirror Universe Empire, Terran Empire? Does a First Lady outrank an Admiral? I think so. Our Lita is doing better than Mirror Lita. I think the first lady is higher ranking than an admiral, isn't she? Because if you don't do what she says, she can get the president to kick the crap out of you. table on one of my Ferengi ships on another character once and I just kept playing Dabber over and over and over and over again and got a whole bunch of accolades but it doesn't seem to be working this time and I've done it on several characters just to get those accolades but I don't think it's working for this character at the moment maybe I should be playing outside of an episode Besides, those damn diplomats can wait while I gamble some. I'm gambling away our future with the Borg. <laughs> the Borg conference can wait. I've got gambling to do. Let the Borg conquer us in the meantime. Excuse me. <laughs> Wonder how many people watching this will skip over. Watch the wheel, not the girl. Dabber at some point. <laughs> at least I'm getting some gold press lightning goo up on this character. That's Keep good. your eyes on the wheel. Here, um, SDO will soon be making an update to the Gold Press Latinum store if they haven't already, so that better items will be available. Should at least be one space set in the Dabos in the Jeep Gold Press Latinum store. That's 
addition to the prizes you get for playing Dabber, there should be the occasional loot drop as well for R&D materials. In addition to what you won, you won a new drop as well. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> no, I'm still no dabbo. Come on, I want a dabbo. Looks like I'll only go as far as five thousand instead. Dabo makes the universe go round. I wanted about twenty thousand, but I think that was a bit ambitious. I think I'll go to five thousand. I like the Dabo game, even if it is a silly, pointless part of the game. It's fun, exactly. It adds atmosphere. Little details like that is what makes the game better. Buy another drink. I wouldn't mind the man in 3D chess. Dabo's are locked out from winning during this episode. Today must be your lucky day. I know there's an accolade for getting 10,000 gold press land for winning it. Once you reach 10,000, I think there's an accolade then. But I don't think I'm going to go that far. I think I'll just go as far as 5,000. Just so this video doesn't get excessively long. I've already got too many excessively long videos for this leveling. I could always come back and play Dabo after the episode. So I'll just keep going till 5,000 now and then I'll continue with the episode. Let the diplomats wait. Thanks, Lita. I like your outfit as well. Actually, I don't. I think it looks silly. I prefer Admiral Lita's outfit. <laughs> if only she was wearing her red dress or grunt. The one that wasn't bulky. Use a side character and came in here and set off an EMP. Would it disrupt the holograph? The hologram. trick to this game to improve your odds. They should also add Tongo to the game to STO. 3D chess and Tongo. Thank you. 
sí, Copena. <risa> Oh, sorry, my finger slipped. <laughs> Hands off the hologram. Five hundred. Six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred that time. Maybe I'll steal a mobile emitter. Might be able to sell that for some Latin. Keep your eyes on the wheel. Oh, and there's some nice boobies to look at. Another accolade. Gambler. There's a whole bunch of accolades you can get from doing this over and over again. It just takes time. I suggest one day when you've got plenty of energy credits, you just go and put on a movie and play this while watching the movie. By the time the movie's over, you'll have a load of accolades. Latin is a girl's best friend. Lita's whole demeanor changed. <laughs> yeah, at last. Right, that'll do. I've got a dabbo. How much did it take to get a dabbo though? Wow. What is it, 100 to 1? Anyway, I can go and get that whole sweet transfer fee. Need something, friend? I'd like to pay the reservation transfer fee. Without profit, it's no 100 gold slap. So I've still got over 5,000 now. Well, that bit of waste of time was worth it. Now, what do I do? I'll give it to Ambassador Sura. Here you go, Ambassador. Greetings. My name is Sura. And I speak for the Deferi. You've already I'm heard of that, so I was able to get the reservation for the rest of the for you. Please enjoy. Wonderful. Most of the holo technology on the Ferra is used for training or utilitarian purposes, so I don't have many chances to use a holo suite for entertainment. Thank you for your assistance. I hope you didn't go through too much trouble on my account. Okay, but just remember. Vulcan love slave can be broken if you're too vigorous within it. <laughs> okay, so now I've got to get some Kunar somehow. No, he wouldn't have Kunar, would he? Ambassador Sora. He just he said so earlier, didn't he? Yeah. So where do I get Kunar from? Did he have any? Did I already ask him or not? I can't remember. Something no, he doesn't have the join to steal the can I? But somebody must have somewhere. That's a good question. Where would I go to get the join to steal canar? Well, let's just have a wander about until we can find it. It's got to be somewhere, surely. Maybe the ambassador, the speaker of the conference has it, but I don't want to go to him until I've checked every other option, every other location. Uh, 
Uh, we've already spoken to all of these guys. So the ones that are worth speaking to at least. No, they wouldn't have any. Neither would they. Or them. Maybe Ambassador Satas has some. Or maybe there's someone in here who knows where to get some. Let's ask him again. No. Oh, I got some scanning done. There's no one else to talk to around here. No. Right, let's try. Um, on the upper level. Just one more lap, I think. Do you have any pajamas of steel guitar? I heard that you were looking for something special. That happens to be my speciality. I can get you anything you need for the right price. Thank you for your help. Ah, he had it. I got it. Pajora and distilled canal. Now I go back to the ambassador. Before I do that, though, I just want to go to the upper level and have a look. Because I believe there was people to talk to around here. Ambassador Carababal. <laughs> Just to see if there's anyone else to talk to. Wow, what's with this? It's got um, 20 years. Inciting riot. No, no one up there worth worrying about. Right, where's that Cardassian? I really have taken my time playing this episode because it's nice and easy. Haven't been killed yet, that's good. And it's more trekky than just shooting everything. I'm looking forward to the conference and what your government has to say about the Borg. While I agree, yeah, enough already. I've got your canal. If you will remember, we dismantled our military after I was able the Dominion to find the Kunar you wanted. Please accept it as my gift to you, or I have looked everywhere for the Kunar you wanted you and couldn't find any. From my government by I learned a little more about that Kunar you requested. No, I did it for you. It's a symbol of oppression and insult to the Jews. Right, we we'll choose this one because it's the only one you can use. Oh, wonderful! Gull Mavek will be so pleased with this gift. Thank you for your assistance. If at some point I can assist you in return, all you need to do is ask. How about at the conference you don't disagree with anyone? Find the conference speaker. Well, I know where he is. 
is at the temple. I remember from previous playthroughs of this episode. Previous playthroughs on other characters. And I've gone the wrong way around to find the temple. There it is. Before I click on him, I can notice that some of my reputation things are complete. Almost at tier 2 and haven't even completed the tier 1 video yet. Two before I've even watched tier one video on New Romulus. for a full set of anything. Um, now there's these. Admiralty. And we've achieved tier one on the wrong side. We'll leave that for now. Duty officers. We didn't do any of these assignments, did we? We just collected them. I'll wait until the episode's over before I do them, if I remember. Okay. Any more one to talk to before I talk to him? No. Let's get the art conference underway then. Talk to Admiral Zabglash. Zabglash Tran. Oi, you, you should be at the bloody conference. I'm going to argue with you about it all day long because it's a sport on your planet. My apologies, both to you and Commander Andrews. It's not often that I get some time to myself these days. Captain Curland offered me the use of his office, but I came here instead for some peace and quiet. Peace. It's in far too short of supply these days. I thought you liked arguing. You're a Tannerite, aren't you? Weirdy beardy. And here you are, chatting away with the Bajoran monks. That's got to be really boring. I've been in Starfleet for a long time. I've seen more battles than I care to remember. But this one, there's no reasoning with the Borg. There's no chance for a non-violent solution. 
I only hope that we can unite before they come for us. No one is safe. What a doddering old fart. Take Toba Lift to the conference. Well, we've got lifts, we've got turbo lifts, have we got trans turbo lift <laughs> and quantum slip stream turbo lift? Take turbo lift to conference. Here we are in the war room or the ward room or whatever they want to call it. American terms. Take a seat at the table. Well, I want this seat, but it won't let me. Oh, it did. Here we Welcome, go. Welcome, everyone. I'm so pleased that you all agreed to join us here today. As many of you are all too aware, the Borg attacks are increasing. If they are left unchecked, Starfleet predicts that the entire Alpha Quadrant could fall within three years. We all must work together to push these invaders out of our space and protect our homes and families. I do not agree. My empire will stand with or without your assistance. The Klingon Empire has never been stronger than it is right now. I dare the Borg to challenge us. Starfleet may cower in fear before a bunch of machines, but we do not. I'm sure what the esteemed ambassador from the Klingon Empire meant to say is that he hopes we are all so crippled by our efforts to stop the Borg, we will be no match for a battle-hardened Klingon fleet. I do not want to be assimilated. But I don't want to be a servant to the Klingon Empire either. The Deferi believe that all things must be in balance. We cannot counter the Borg threat if we ourselves are counter to one another. The Deferi do not wish to act against any of you. Therefore, should this meeting not reach a consensus, our best course of action is to not act at all. Starfleet will do what it must to protect the Federation. However, if you want our assistance, you need to be willing to protect yourselves and contribute to this campaign. The Borg will be stronger if any of your civilizations are assimilated. Starfleet's hard at work developing new technology and tactics. We, at least, will be ready. And if we can't cooperate, I hope you don't suffer. And that we develop new weapons in time. This is getting us nowhere. We came together in the spirit of cooperation. We need to find common ground. Now, did you have something you wanted to add to this discussion? I think that little cutscene needs a bit of brightening up. I mean, when I was watching the characters there, all I could see was a dark shadow of them. I couldn't actually see any detail. You get that a lot in this game. Everything's all shadowy and dark, and that's not Star Trek in my opinion. Star Trek is bright and bubbly. So, do I have anything to add? Um, I've got a choice of options here. And I suppose what I choose depends on how this thing goes. Ambassador Satas, the Klingon Empire would be foolish to ignore this fight. They wouldn't be ignoring it. They'd challenge the Borg. Ambassador Scale, Cardassia will be weakened if your government does not participate in this accord. Well, what help can they offer since they dismantled their military? Ambassador Sora, balance can only be preserved with the help of the Death Deferi. A stupid thing to say. Captain Sean, the Federation cannot afford to give the Borg a foothold in the Alpha Quadrant. Well, we know that. Hmm. Which one shall I choose? I'll do this one. 
Cardassia Prime is still rebuilding from the Dominion War. We have achieved a great deal in the past decades, but there is still much more to do. The continued threat of the true way makes progress difficult. It would be best if we reserve our limited resources. I will not weaken my world to defeat the Borg, only to become the victim of another power already here in the Alpha Quadrant. So, how do we choose? Diplomacy. We hope to minimize casualties by working together against the Borg. This will allow Cardassia to maintain its position in the Alpha Quadrant. Well, I don't think they're looking to maintain the position. I think they'll be looking to improve it. What about your family? What will happen to them if the Borg invade Cardassia Prime? A potential war after the Borg are dealt with isn't important now. What sh should be thinking about is how to survive the collective attacks. I think he would talk about his family because Cardassia Prime is weak by the looks of things at the moment after the Dominion War and uh, he might be the likely first target. I will protect my home until my last breath. My people do not need to be distracted by having to concern ourselves with all of you. Perhaps keeping ourselves separate is the best protection we could have. Fine, if you don't want us to help, why should we help you? But mission completion. Runjan, without the help of the Cardassians, we will all be looking for new homes, and even those will not be safe from the Borg. I see your point. Yeah, you do now. If we work together, we can spread the risks of fighting the Borg, while at the same time creating a unified force that is more likely to succeed. Cardassia's odds of survival will be greatly improved if we add our strength to yours. Now, did you have something you wanted to add to this discussion? Yeah, I'm the freaking hero here. Um, balance can only be preserved with the help of the Deferi. Maintaining balance with all things must be our primary concern. This isn't about balance, this is about stopping the Borg before they assimilate our worlds, or... War is on your doorstep and you waste time talking about balance. There are Borg attacks on Defera right now. Do you think they want to stop and discuss philosophy? Balance comes in many forms. It may be our time to depart this universe and make way for others as others have done before. If it is, so be it. We will protect what we can of our culture and knowledge for those who come after, as the preservers did for us. Now, did you have something you wanted to add to this discussion? Be careful. You are dangerously close to insulting the honor of the Cleon Empire. You talk about honor. Doesn't your honor require you to fight with all your strength against an enemy like the Borg? Or will the Klingon Empire cower while the rest of us go out to fight the Borg? Do not dictate strategy to me. The Klingon Empire values strength. We stepped in to defend the Deferi once because we owe them a debt of honor. We owe you nothing. Now, did you have something you wanted to add to this discussion? Starfleet will do everything we can to protect the Federation and its allies. However, there are too many drains on our resources and a limited number of ships and officers. It may be simply unfeasible for us to sign on to be the protector of the entire Alpha Quadrant. Besides, we need to consider the Prime Directive. There are limits to what we can do. I don't think it's possible to get all of these optionals. You just have to get a couple of them and lose a couple to determine how the mission progresses. I can't think you can get them all because there are grayed out sections. I thought mutual protection was one of the tenets of which the Federation was founded, or 
I'll call your bluff, Captain. I doubt that Starfleet will stand idly by as entire planets are consumed by the Borg. We fought the Borg alone before. We'll do it again if we must. Let's take a quick recess to cool off. <laughs> I think so. That's funny. I don't remember anyone being scheduled to fly through the wormhole today. Well, that's not the Borg. Why is he bobbing back and forth? That's a lot of turbulence. There's something coming out of the wormhole. Captain, it's a Dominion fleet. They're charging weapons. Red alert! As if we didn't have enough to worry about. Jampadar boarding the station. Get the delegates out of here. We have to get out of here. <laughs> Future. It is time to leave. Coward. I'd rather we stay and fight. Evac protocol alpha. Andrews, get everyone to shuttles. Prep the Defiant for launch. I'll blast it. The Jemadar have cut off access to ops. Karen, you'll need to coordinate the evacuation. We'll get the delegates to the docking ring, and then I'll try to join you in ops. There's a temporal probe here somewhere. Return to promenade. Promenade! <laughs> okay, let's do this careful because there's some optionals around here, I believe. Well, rob the dead. Arming ambassadors. Override door is an engineering optional, so I can't do that one. Well, that guy's fresh out of luck. Jim Hadar! just showed up. That's happened before. Whenever I've when I've used those um subspace speed jiggies or whatever they're called. Yeah, the Javillian show up sometimes. Um, I was once did a playthrough of Manis a long time ago on another character, and I set and after the um, after Rebecca was killed or whatever she was called, Manis, I um, ran back through to pick up loot, ran back through the station to pick up loot and set up that along a certain point in the station and um, a huge Davidian, one of the big boss ones, appeared. Killed it. I know it's not necessary to run through here, but you never know, there might be more scannables to pick up or something.
Where did the ambassadors go? There they are, they're slow. Anything in there? Nope. I thought we could shoot some guys up there. There's one. Jemadar soldier. Trying to target the soldiers up there. You can't target the ones up there. Especially if you don't get out the friggin' way. Houdini. There's the temporal probe. Look for the word Mangi Ort Hanged. Ort. Huge flame whip. Flame. Drive exterior frozen. Exterior. There's a message here from Farrick. She gathered intel from Deep Space Nine about a species called the Vorgons. The Vorgons have experience with time travel. Looks like the Nakor are interested in recruiting them to their cause. Make a copy of the data and purge the probe's memory core. Now what we do is click on Temporal Probe. Spend five specialization points, we did that earlier. Claim for that. What did we get? Two Temporal Agent Universal Upgrade Techs. Oh, we didn't get the one from the new link. Would I have to play that episode again then? I think I will. I think I'll have to play that episode again. I didn't want to have to do with that. I could have sworn I did that. I might go into the episode, but not actually play it. Just hunt the um, probe. But for right now, we've got Terran Task Force marks to get. Yeah, I know I played the episode because there's a video of it, but I obviously didn't collect the reward. Find the temporal probe. Ouch! have anything to say to me? No. Nope. 
You know, Captain Sean should be doing a bit more. Strauss is doing more than Schwann. Strass. Satas, whatever he's called. Got him. Something to do with free trap security officer and him, English security officer. Okay, let's just get the ambassadors to safety. So Tassi's overcompensating because they called him a coward. Him and his whole empire. I think Sean would be doing something more. back on the ship. We will hold position here as long as we can, but the Jim'Hadar fleet is approaching the station. Yes, but I've got tronium gas to scan. That's more important. I'll be no good in a fight without me fix of scanning. So a space battle is it? <coughs> Until we have to retreat. Come on, where's the little number thing? Patching, that's what it is. Better tack it on particles before anyone shoots me. Get them out of the way. And hadrosine. That oh, looks cool. Now let's fight! Forget I'm not having a keybind on this character. NPCs did it all. I like doing the maneuver in the show Shattered Mirror. now. 
eat Jim and our ships? We did. They're dead. Oh, there's probably a couple more to go. Assist USS Belfast. Where is it? There it is. Clear a path for ships return to assist Opaka. Come on, fly my pretty fly. The alpaca's dead. Where's the Fletcher? Well, we missed one of the ships. Captain Curland, I think. Good to know that you and the delegates are safe. <coughs> Jim Hadar I'm not Captain Curland. In critical areas. The Defiant has launched and I've evacuated everyone possible, but a few of us stayed to... <coughs> Andrews? Andrews? Someone, answer me. What's going on? Captain, my name is Loris, and I represent the Dominion. This station and all remaining souls on it are now under our control. Well, that would teach Captain Curland, wouldn't it? A captain's place is on his bridge, or in this case, the operations center during battle. It's the first officer that handles all the other stuff. But Curlum left his command centre and he's lost his station. What an asshole. <laughs> Captain, there's nothing more we can do but see our guests to safety. I have been in contact with Starfleet and they would like us to report to Bajor. Planning for a counter-offensive is underway, but for today the station belongs to the Jem'Hadar. It is our duty to ensure that Bajor does not fall as well. Warp to Bajor. I don't understand why there's nothing more we can do because when we eventually retake the station, we do it all by ourselves anyway. <laughs> we walk across the hull and stuff. We will regroup, recover, and retake what is ours. 
the fleet is retreating to Bajor, Bajor space, do you mean Bajoran space, to protect the planet. In the case of the Jem'Hadar, decide to push their advantage. Captain Kurland is in contact with Starfleet Command and we will be routing all available ships to this region. We debated them once, we can do it again. Ooh, starting to get the Jem'Hadar space set, I mean ground set. That's a good weapon that. It's worth having. Playing a second playing this episode a second time to get that. Better than this, I think. <laughs> we need to counterattack and retake Deep Space Nine. Of course we do. However, that is not a simple matter. Starfleet is routing all available ships here, and the Federation Council is contacting the Klingon Chancellor as well. We are also sending messages to the Gamma Quadrant in an attempt to open a dialogue with the Dominion. But we are fighting a war on multiple fronts. We have to consider the Borg, the Undine, and the Romulans, as well as the Klingons. It will take time to marshal our resources and plan a counterattack. You and your ship will be part of that plan. Until we are prepared, though, we need to do whatever we can to contain the Jem'Hadar fleet at DS9 and protect Bajor. Losing DS9 is bad enough. Losing a Federation world would be unthinkable. Well, you did lose beta set before. Okay, let's wait for her to hail me to give me that next episode, but I'll also add on the new link episode. Not because I want to play it properly, but I just want to run through it and get that temporal probe. We've evacuated everyone we could to Bajor, and we're setting up a base there to coordinate our counter-attack against the Dominion. I won't lie to you, though. It's not going to be easy. We were caught completely off guard by Karakhan and his fleet, and the Bajorans are none too pleased to have house guests. We must balance the needs of the civilian populace with those of the Starfleet and Klingon forces currently on the surface. Starfleet needs all the help it can get planet side right now. Transport down to our staging area on Bajor. You'll find me there. Captain Kurland will join us as soon as he can. And the next piece of the Gemma Diagram set. Uh, I'm going to leave it here for go AFK for two more minutes and then when I come back I'm going to try and play that new Link episode a second time on this character so I can get that temporal pro because we can't do without that that was a bad mistake me missing that but I don't think it makes much difference at level 16 now we've leveled up it's not going to change the leveling process it's just going to add more experience I suppose but give me two minutes and I'll be back to do that. Yes, when I need a momentary break, there's no way to pause my recording halfway through, not the software I use. I'd have to stop the video and then start another one. But it's easier just to go AFK for 30 seconds and let them get the video running. Should really switch the mic off when I do that. <laughs> anyway.
we got of Bayshore, which is the next episode in line, but as I said, I want to try the new link again to get that temporal probe thing. There it is. Naaman has decrypted the coordinate. We won't bother um, playing it properly, we'll just rush through it. Because I've already done a video on this character with that episode. I'm just going back to correct an oversight. I'm not going to use energy credits, no way. <coughs> Were those Cardassian ships in orbit of Beijing just then? So, new link would be down here. I wonder how my mastery is going. Not good. Very slow to level that up playing episodes. How's that Gemma Dark gun? These are things you can use with the gun to put a, put an illness on someone, like a biological weapon. It turns the gun into a biological weapon. If you remember once in um, Deep Space Nine, one of the crew members was shot in the leg. I think it was Dax. And got an illness from it. Anyway, while we're out in space, we can also do some of these assignments. And we've gone way beyond the map. The auto navigation failed. But let's just continue to fill up all these assignments slots while we're at it. I don't want more turret plans. Starship energy weapon targeting exercise. God, I hope we get a critical success on that one. Not really looking too difficult at what I'm lining up, just <coughs> getting as many done as possible, as quickly as possible. Let's say that's all twenty one done. Okay, so now we make our way to where we're supposed to go because the auto navigation didn't seem to work. And it's still not working. I suppose it's because the mission isn't primary.
I'm not hitting transwalk just for that short a distance. I wish when you move the map like that it would stay put. Here we are. Begin new link. Right, where's the probe? The Gemladar will not likely be interested in negotiation. Yeah, well, I'm never mind at the moment. I'm just rushing through this through. episode to correct a mistake. I'm not actually playing it properly. Here we go. Um, that, 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 the nice thing about your is that you can always bring more. I might be playing a bit too aggressively now since I just want to get this done. It's a scannable down there, might as well take advantage of it. Why do I keep protecting? Keep acting like I've got a key button from pressing the space bar when I know I haven't. It might actually be time to take advantage of the key binder in this character.
yeah, it might actually be time to take advantage of a keybind on this character because I know I've got one set up on my account so I could well be using it if I wanted to Where's the temple pro? You have to admire the devotion of the Jem'Hadar. They never seem to tire of throwing their lives away for the founders. There it is. Skip it's Skip even more cutscene. beautiful than I imagined. It's almost sacrilegious to have you here. I hope the Founders will understand the necessity and forgive me. Well, you can't have a good person amongst evil people. It's not right, is it? Is this temple pro? there I wouldn't have had otherwise I think mm. 
Here's Jimadar, no match for my crew. Where is this probe? The other Vorta are going to be so envious when they hear about this. The other boat are going to be so. There's the probe. We got it. Okay, so compare the words. We've got carrier under bank. Travel power. Bank. Drive cruiser to Axion. Drive. This is interesting. There's a file here that shows the Nicole negotiating with the new link. Let's see it. Founders, my people's ability to alter history will be of undo undo the tragedies of your war with the Federation. The new link is not understandable, the of this time. but should circumstances change, remember us. Now, I do remember doing that and seeing that cutscene. Maybe because I didn't press that button. Copy and clear the probe's memory. Thanks. I do seem to recall seeing that, that um, cutscene. So we've made sure 
we got the temporal probe this time, but I think I'm going to continue on to do the episode because might as well complete it while I'm here. Skip the cutscenes. Talk. Have you come to fit impost? It is true. Let go! Using my little trick to kill him. When in beyond his range, so you can safely shoot him from outside of his range. Subatomic alteration. You can't run any further than a certain point, so you can get beyond that point and shoot him from outside of it. From beyond that point. Come on, Lars, back up you come. Don't make me come down there. Stop using my cover shield. The headquarters of this guy out. Speak to Changeling. It's done. Although it is on. Speak to Noon. Well. Okay, well we just gotta lay the beacon and we're out of here. So we can figure where it is. There it is.
sure I'd get another award from this episode. Congratulations. Oh, I can always deal with another beamer, eh? And made peace with the Alpha Changelings. I have transmitted messages to the major powers of the galaxy, advising them to avoid the Araya system. I have one final request for you. Please. So that's that. We got the one we missed. I bet there's not one person who's played this has got them all in order. <laughs> I bet somebody, everyone has missed at least one. You don't get nothing at level 60 then. Those being raised or issues from, I'll probably come back here and grind up a set anyway at some point. Because they are good weapons. Anyway, reputation. Collect. Check the next one. No point in you doing that one. Check for a tier upgrade project. No. That's how I do it. to go back to Bayshore for that Bajoran episode. We won't play in this video because this video has gotten a bit long now, but we'll just go there and get ready for it. So it even gets me see me correcting my gameplay mistakes. There it is, waltz and all. <laughs> Everything to do with this character, waltz and all. And I find myself enjoying playing him. You forget the pleasures of a leveling up experience when you're used to playing maxed out characters. I just hope if they're going to bring out a Gamma Recruit with um, Season 14, I just hope that I can get this one complete through all the episodes before that happens. Also, I don't really want to create another character. I've got nine already. And they don't really make a hell of a lot of difference. Anyway, let's read the home system of the Bajoran people. The system has 14 planets and there are five moons around Bajor, which is the homeworld. The Bajorans are a deeply spiritual people and faith in the prophets derives much of who they are. 
they are also fighters, and when their world was occupied by the Cardassian Union, they launched a fierce opposition movement, but this opposition movement that ultimately drove the Cardassian forces to retreat. Bajor is one of the newest members of the United Federation of Planets. I think we've read that before at some point in these videos. It's funny. I don't get a tier 6 ship from leveling. Just a tier 5 view, I would have thought I'd get a next rank of ship. You just get permission to buy next rank of ships, you don't actually get a new ship. You just get permission. You don't get a tier 6 ship, you get permission to buy a tier 6 ship, but you don't actually get one. Anyway, you down to Bay Shop. We won't do that now, we'll do that in the next video. Because this video's gone on long enough now. So, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, share. And I hope this helps somebody out somewhere. Or they just enjoy, for those people who just enjoy watching how other people play. But for now, I'll say goodbye and see you in the next part. I can't remember what part video this is. Is it 28? Video 28? Anyway, see you then. Bye.